<laughs> I'm here with another fantastic, fantastic <laughs> challenger. You make me laugh already. Kirsty Lees, who has come on to the challenge. Uh, she's just smashed her first week and she just wants to share what she's done. Uh, we'll wait to hear her result in, an, in a couple of minutes' time. So first of all, I want to kind of take a step back. Where, where, where are you, like, a couple of weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, where, where were you feeling with your life, your health? And... Well, I'm still exercising with you a couple of weeks ago, but, um, you know, I'm still eating crap, crisps, chocolate, just couldn't be bothered, you know, going to work all the time, there's nothing else to do. Um, so, basically, when I started the challenge, I just thought, ah, I need to do something for myself. So... Was it the accountability or was it just something different? I just think I, I just wanted to feel better about myself and just get on with it and hopefully do healthy and eat healthily and make sure my wains know that I'm trying my hardest for them. Yes, that's, I, you can't get better inspiration than that. So tell yeah. me about your first week, how was it? Was it scary? Was it all right? Did you love it? Um, the Zoom classes were a bit scary, but, you know, other than that, I was fine. I just didn't really want to look at the camera very much, but I was like, ah, bugger it. What can I do? It's time to just get out of my comfort zone. Yes. And just something. You can't change unless you come out of the comfort zone. And no. do you know what? It's not, scary. it's not scary, is it? No, it's not. It's not. And it's good, no. to see the other, it's good to see the other challenges in it. You're all in it together. So what was your result in the first week? So I lost two pounds and um, around my waist I lost three inches. My boobs I lost two inches and my hips I lost two inches. And uh, do, you feel, do you feel you're eating better, drinking more water, more energy? Yeah, I do have a lot more energy. I'm, um, I'm more than two litres now. I'm nearly up to three litres of water a day. Oof. Um, so I'm doing well, but I pee like a racehorse as well. So. <laughs> I'm never out the bathroom. <laughs> Just think of the, your detox and your detox. And so, yeah. if you could say what was the best bit for you over the week, what made the biggest difference, or what was the most enjoyable bit? Oh, I'd have to say meeting other people in my situation and just going with the flow. Exercises are brilliant. I'm out walking more. Um, I'm eating more healthily. Um, I'm thinking about my meals before I start preparing things like what can I eat the day, things like that. So. Almost sounds like you're you're doing everything better. You're just kind of um, taking everything that the challenge helps you with and doing everything. Yeah, it is a lot harder when you're a vegetarian as well. So yeah. it's uh, what what's protein and what's not kind of thing. Yeah. So and we're we're working on that, aren't we? And yes. I say your food draft, your food diary in week one or your food plan. That's just your first draft. Yeah. That's going to look so different with week six. Mhm. Mm yeah. You keep improving it and getting more meals. So. If someone was sitting in their house to now, a wee bit frustrated, uh, just wanting to get going, but they don't know what to do or what will work and the gyms are shut, what wee bit of advice would you give them? Uh, anything at all to start you off would just be going out for a walk, even if it's peeing down with rain. I mean, I've started jogging with my friend now as well once a week, so I'm trying my hardest. So just to get you out of your comfort zone, just get out there and do something. Enjoying the challenge. Yes, Come enjoying. In. Come in. <laughs> work, out, work out with Kirsty in the morning. Definitely. Definitely. I know. If, you're if you're vegetarian, Kirsty will share her food plan because that's what it's all about because it will yes. be absolutely brilliant in a couple of weeks. So that's great. I really appreciate it. I hope there's someone listening to it, like a challenger or someone out there just a bit frustrated, a really, really busy mum and going, oh, Kirsty is just speaking to me right now. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go in the challenge and I can work out with her. And especially getting up before your wings get up in the morning is even better when you work out. <laughs> Kirsty's an early bird, does the 6.15, 6.15 yeah. day, about 5 to 7 the workout and job done before the kids are up. So yep. I love you, you're great. Right, thank you very much. I'll stop the recording and then I'll get a wee catch up with you. Thank you. Bye.